Okay, so I'm Dolores Gallagher Thompson, and I'm a professor of research in the Department of Psychiatry at Stanford University School of Medicine, and I also direct the Stanford Geriatric Education Center. My mother had dementia. It was related to strokes that she had, so it wasn't Alzheimer's per se, but stroke-related. And it was really difficult because at that time, this was before the association was even formed. So there were virtually no programs, no help, and I realized how much of a toll it was taking on me and my marriage and my professional career that I was just starting to embark on, and it was just really difficult. So I decided that it was important to look at some of the psychological issues and the stress that caregivers experience and try to help them find ways of coping, coping with stress, dealing with it, modulating it, managing it, you know, um, doing a good job for their loved one and at the same time keeping their own lives going to the extent possible. Well, it's a privilege to have funding from the Alzheimer's Association for this project that I've had um, in my mind. I've been thinking about it for some time, but finally it's going to become a reality, which is using technology more to help caregivers manage their stress and cope better with their situation. But in particular, I have a long history of being interested in minority caregivers. I've done a lot of research with Latino families, with Chinese families, and some with other groups as well. Uh, and I've learned that culture plays a very important role in how caregiving is experienced, what the problems are, what kind of help is sought, uh, how it makes the person feel. You know, attitude is everything, and it's, but cultural, culture has a great influence on our attitudes about things. So this particular project is an opportunity to study caregiving in India uh, among dementia family caregivers and to develop an online program for them that will be culturally sensitive uh, and will take into account some of the particular problems and issues that they face and some of their own unique coping strategies, which may not be that familiar to us here in the West. There's very little known right now about caregiving in India and in China as well. And so this opportunity is really a tremendous one to shed some light on the process and hopefully to develop a good, useful platform that can then be generalized and perhaps used in other countries as well, eventually, with the right cultural tailoring for those other countries. There is always hope that we will find a cure, and there is considerable amount of funding right now being devoted to that very question on the federal level, by the Alzheimer's Association, by other philanthropic organizations, because Alzheimer's is a very deadly disease. And at, present, at the present time, what we have is really not adequate. Patients suffer, families suffer, it goes on for a long time. Uh, we need to find a cure, so I believe that that will come, and I believe it, hope that it will be within the next decade. Yeah, I think that uh, I think the potential of technology to improve the quality of life of patients and the family members is is just enormous. It's unharnessed. We don't know yet what technology can do. We have little glimpses into it. You know, there are robots that can assist people with taking care of themselves, which is remarkable. And that is something new that technology has brought about. Uh, these programs, such as I've been describing, that would be used, by a com uh, used on a computer or a smartphone or a tablet, that opens up a whole nother world because caregivers who might be reluctant to come in and seek service or might not even know that there are services available might be able to get some benefit from these online programs. So it makes it more available to larger numbers of people. So that's just two examples. I think the whole notion of a smart home, that we can have our homes be made safer for people in terms of wandering, in terms of falls, in terms of bathing, uh, cooking and so forth, I think it's just um, limitless. We don't know yet what technology can do.
And so I'm very, very happy to have the opportunity to have one small part of that uh, very important um, approach.